In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a professional and modern logo using Kittle. If you're starting a business, launching a brand, or you simply want to give your logo a refresh, Kittle is a very powerful tool that is going to help you make this process so much easier. The best part is that you don't have to be a designer to create a great logo using Kittle. So without further ado, let's go ahead and design your first logo with Kittle. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to kittle.com, just in case you guys need the link for Kittle, is gonna be listed down below. All right, and this is gonna be the main dashboard that we're gonna get once we log into Kittle. If you wanna learn more about the plans and the different options that you can get with Kittle, all you have to do is click right here at the top on the little star that says plans, and it's gonna show you their three plans. So Kittle has three different plans, a free version, a pro version, and an expert version. All of these have different features and you kind of unlock different templates and different things depending on the version that you choose to get. For example, for the free version, you get five projects, 20 AI credits, and 0.5 gigabytes of file storage. And for the expert version, you can get unlimited projects, 80 AI credits per day, and 100 gigabytes of file storage. So once you choose your plan, all you have to do is click on the version that you want to get and create your account. I usually do it with Google just because I think that saves me a lot of time and it's just easier. Okay, so I created my account. I already logged into Kittle and this is the main dashboard that we're going to see. I'm going to scroll down just so you guys can see some of the things that you can create with Kittle. One of the best things about Kittle and something that is super important, especially for a business owner, is that anything that you create won't get copyrighted because since all of this is AI generated, you won't have that issue. So that's something I really like about Kittle. I'm going to scroll back to the top and since today we're going to be focusing on logos, I'm going to click right here at the top where it says see templates. Okay, and these are some of the templates we get. If you want to get more specific and get something a little bit more similar to what you do or your business, at the top if you move your mouse to the right, they're going to have different categories. So for example, they have clothing logos logos if you maybe have a clothing brand they also have gaming logos what else circle minimalistic sports if you have a sports brand beauty logos restaurants so there are a bunch of things that you can play around with today i want to create a logo for a coffee shop so i'm gonna click right here at the right where it says cafe logos now all i have to do is pick a little template that i like and start moving it around and making it my own logo remember that templates are all about creativity templates are a really great way to get inspired but of course the end result is going to be what you make of it honestly i think all the templates that kittle has are really great and really up done so it's really not as hard to customize a template because they are already so good okay i saw one right here that i like Let's see, the break, all that I did was click on it and it's going to open a second page where I'm going to be able to edit my template. Okay, I'm going to delete this right here so it doesn't take up my space and I'm going to zoom into my template. I like to zoom into the template so I can see what I'm working with better and see what I need to change or what I would like to keep. For example, the first thing I notice is that I love the font that this little thing has right here, the name of the company. So I think I'm going to keep that font, but of course I'm going to change the name of the company. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to put the name of my coffee shop, which is going to be so coffee okay that might be too big so let me just keep the soul and put coffee shop at the bottom okay i'm going to double click where it says coffee house i'm going to delete the house i'm going to put coffee shop okay so now i added the name of my company what i'm going to do is as you can see the coffee shop is not centered so i'm going to move it to the center by just clicking on it and right here at the right i'm going to click where it says center this little icon right here okay there we go i'm going to delete this extra space so it's more accurate and it kind of centers like it should and and I'm going to click on center again. Okay. I'm going to also change my icon because I want to make it different. So I'm going to delete it. So it's out of the way. And to create a new element or an icon, all that you have to do is go to the left and click on this little icon right here where it says elements. Now, as you can see, you can search for
for shapes, ornaments, illustrations. Sometimes they have really great things under illustrations. So I'm going to click on that and see what I like. Oh, okay. Right here where it says mascots, I'm seeing something really cute for a coffee shop. Let me try this. Okay, I love this. And I don't know if you guys have seen, but recently mascots have become huge in businesses. A lot of companies are creating their own little emoji or icon that kind of can play around a lot in their marketing. So I'm going to do that. I really like this mascot, but I'm going to move it a little bit to the right. All To move it to the right, all you have to do is just click on it and kind of move your mouse around it and pick a place where you want your icon or your element to go okay let me close this out i think i really like it here i like how his arms kind of play with the little l right here but i kind of want to change it to a darker color because i think this little black right here you can't really see it that well so what you can do to change your icon's color is to click on it you're going to get the illustration colors and you're going to click on the color that you want to change that way you can pick any color Color you like I can even make it pink if I wanted to but I'm looking for a black color so I'm just gonna move this pencil around until I find the color I want okay I already like this black a lot more um I'm gonna try and change the background so that way we can see better what we're working with okay I'm gonna zoom out to see how our logo is looking but the first thing I can notice is that it's not center so I'm gonna grab my whole logo and I'm gonna move it I'm gonna grab it and then move it a little bit to the top so it's centered okay right here and then when you see the two blue lines in the same space that that means that your logo is centered okay you can also click on center but this will make it just so much more precise okay one thing that I noticed is that the text is a little bit small so I'm gonna cut out this extra space and I'm gonna make the text of my logo bigger to do that what you do is double click on it go to text and then raise up the font I think 200 is perfect okay this is how our logo is looking so far something that I would like to do is to give this text more texture to do that I'm gonna go right here at the bottom where it says text shading and I'm gonna play around with this offset so I can give more background texture to my logo let's see how it looks with line shadowing okay i like that and it gave it like a little grayish kind of vibe in the background but i don't want it to be gray i want it to be something darker maybe a black or something brownish okay i like this beige color so and it looks really similar to our little mascot so that's great okay that gave so much more life to our logo i think that's looking really good so far and i'm gonna try and change the color of our coffee shop text at the bottom let me try with the beige if you guys want to get the exact color that another part of your logo has all you have to do is click at this little pencil right here and then select the color that you want so for example i want this little text at the bottom to be the same color as the lid of my coffee so i'm going to click on it and boom there we have it okay our logo is looking really cute so far i really like it i'm going to move my mascot a little bit more to the bottom and i'm going to zoom out so i can think about what else i would like to add to my logo so far i'm really happy with the outcome of my logo but i definitely want to add something more i just think right now it's looking good but we can elevate it a little bit more so i thought about giving more shape to my logo and one way we can do that is by transforming the way the text is placed so i'm going to click on coffee shop i'm going to scroll down right here where it says transformation and as you can see we can move around our text in many different angles I like this one right here that makes it a little bit more angled. Let's see how it would look at the top. You know, I think it would look better at the bottom. Rise, wave, flag. I mean, the options are endless, but I think the angle option is the best. And I'm going to center it again so it looks great in the middle. Okay, actually, no, I didn't love that. So I'm going to change the angle curve so it's a little bit more move upward, but not so much. So maybe something like this this do we like that okay i think we're done okay guys so we are done this is the final version of our logo all that is left is to download it and export it so we can begin using our logo one final thing i'm gonna do is just
just to bring my logo up a little bit in size so it takes out most of the space of this page and I'm gonna center it again so I'm just gonna grab my whole logo and move it around until I find the center okay perfect so to download it all you have to do is go right here at the top right hand corner click on download and make sure that you always download your logos in a PNG version that is just gonna give it more quality and there you have it guys that is how easy you can create a logo using Kittle if you guys have any questions please make sure to leave them down below thank you so much for watching this video please remember to like and subscribe to the channel so you can keep seeing more content like this remember that if you need the link to Kittle is gonna be listed down below and if you also have any questions make sure to comment them I will see you in the next video bye